Well, although Bulstrode itself is very grand and a, a large building and estate, the Operation World offices are just in three modestly sized rooms and uh, with a small team, a few of whom are away and some of whom are here right now. So we're going to start by introducing Lisa. Hello. Hello. How long have you been part of the Operation World team? Since 2007. Okay, so yeah, around three years. And where is it you're from and how did you end up uh, working with us in Operation World? I'm from Missouri in the States and I was taking a perspectives course while I was teaching high school English at a Christian school. And that's when I um, started using Operation World. It uh, really touched me, so after I quit teaching and was looking for something else, I, I looked at several possibilities, but one of them was um, Operation World, so I emailed you. and right. I remember. Uh, yep. <laughs> and um, you told me about WEC, and so I joined the mission and eventually came here. Great. And since you've arrived, we've been mostly focused on finishing the new edition of the book and the DVD and everything. Mm -hmm. What part of that process have you mostly played for the last few years? Um, by far the largest part that I played was in doing research. Um, I would go through the information that we have um, on the server and our filing cabinets and I'd do a lot of research on the internet, send out a lot of correspondence, and then I'd try to organize it all and put it into a document to prepare for you to write. That's <laughs> right, and those research documents are really the spine of, uh, of the work that mm -hmm. shaped Operation World. Any other aspects of, of what you've been spending your time doing? Uh, I also did a lot of work in preparing the drafts to go to the typesetter, so formatting and doing a first proofread. Right. Mm -hmm. All of course which is necessary to get it into book format mm -hmm. especially. Okay, Lisa, thank you very much. Thank you.